Hi everybody, this is Tennis with the weekly analysis. Starting with the majors, starting with the Euro USD. I've got a tight channel that's been running since around February this year. You can see it bouncing from the top, bottom, top, bottom. So what I'm looking for now is price to make a decision around this 1.037. This is really, really big level. If we zoom out, you can see price bouncing off to this level multiple times in the past in the region not necessarily on the dot so for me i need to see price break above pull back and i'll try to long it back up to around 1.08 1.08 a grade short for me other option is to short it where it is currently i would suggest going down to the smaller time frames for that so a couple of ideas on this pair, this 1.03700 800 area, really, really important. USD Swissy, uh, we've got a break below all of these EMAs on Friday. If we just zoom out a little bit, option to short it from where it is now 60 to around 120, and I'll show you why I say 120 in a second. If we zoom out again, channel line that's formed since around. Uh, January last year so really really strong channel in my opinion so good area for a take profit if it breaks back above this look to take it back up to this 1.006 level a uh, little bit choppy now as I said in the blog post it, the markets kind of need to make up its mind now um, a little bit of mixed news which is causing a bit of uncertainty and this tends to lead to a little bit of chop or up and down movement in a close uh, tight channel. Pound USD very very similar to the Euro USD 1.22100 really really important level same ideas if it breaks above again waiting for a pullback to take it back up to 1.27500 1.27500 a grade short area so a couple of ideas one second idea and then the third third idea with this pair is to look to short it from where it is currently you've got the 55 and this big level previously mentioned as a reason for the stop uh, you would need to go down to the four hour for this one if we go to the four hour you can see chopping along the EMAs now in the four hour you'd preferably want to see a break below and then a pull back into these EMAs to use them as a stop uh, so a couple of ideas, a couple of ideas with that one as well. Aussie USD, I personally I'd be very cautious to short the AUD at this stage. We've got some higher commodity prices, some some strength in the commodity prices. So I'd be cautious where it is currently. 0.71200 would uh, normally be a good area for a short or the A grade area for the short. Uh, be careful with this one, maybe wait for a daily candlestick, uh, a bearish daily candlestick or close below this level again. Uh, alternatively, you could go to the smaller time frames and have a look for entries over there, you look for price to slow down. Uh, I'd be very cautious with this one this week, guys. New Zealand USD, very, it's obviously correlated to the Aussie USD, again, similar channel line breakout retests the break you can see a lot of bullish momentum last week a grade short 0.655 so waiting for price to get up there to short again because the new zealand dollar is so closely related or correlated to the aussie uh, aussie dollar again guys i'd be cautious with this one usd yen so interesting to short from where it is now you've got the 55 you've got the breakout of a channel so break pull back just like we saw on the pound if i can just flick back to the daily so you can see similar kind of setup so you've got the breakout of the channel pull back to retest the break and then it moves up similar to the kind of uh where is this uh, to the uh New Zealand USD, sorry guys, again, breakout pullback, it's just a, a bullish breakout this time, not bearish, so you've got a breakout pullback, and moving down, where it is now, you've got the 55, P, 
potentially to short it I'd look at the four hour you can see there are two fifty fives uh, that's a very interesting setup to me guys you've got 60 170 maybe a little bit to 60 for 120 ish interesting setup guys USD CAD got a break uh, below this 1.28500 area last week breakdown stuck on the 200 now what I'd like to see is price to break down, pull back, potentially to short down, and then I'd look to take it back up at 1.25. So again, trying to CAD USD forming another range. So 1.27500 to 1.25 potentially. So looking to trade it down and then up, down and then up potentially. Then looking at some of the cross ideas, I'm starting with the Euro Pound. Same idea as the, this last bearish candle, unfortunately this on a Friday. Short from 0 0.84, 0 0.85, so exactly the same like this, hoping for price to quick into there. And then hopefully breaking down. Aussie CAD, same advice as the USD Aussie dollar pair. A lot of buying pressure last week, I'd caution on taking or shorting this straight away at uh, 0 0.91 even though this is a good technical setup maybe go down to the four hour look for price to slow down break to the downside uh, to potentially short this but uh, again guys a lot of aussie dollar strength aussie dollar new zealand uh, i'm looking at this on the four hour i've got a, two ideas so firstly a counter trend trade from 1.1235 one two two seven ish big big area of previous support and resistance I did show you guys this one in the live session uh, and then I would like to long from around 0 0.88 so again big area of previous support and resistance down there in this area uh, those of you counter trend trade interesting setups from where it is too short uh, but if again if you a little bit newer I'd uh, caution against this one. So looking for the short from where it currently is. Multiple reasons for the stop. Uh, good risk reward. But it is a counter trend trade, guys. Still very, very bullish. Eurocad, far away. But A grade short, 1.37600. So big, big area of previous support and resistance. Multiple reasons for the stop. But uh, quite a distance away. Then we've got quite a few yen setups, guys. Remember, the yen's highly, highly correlated. Um, if one moves the one way, they all tend to move that same way. So half your risk or pick the better setup. So this is the New Zealand yen. I'm looking at this on the four hour, looking too long from eight four nine hundred. Multiple reasons for the stop. A lot of room for price to move back up. If I look at these previous highs got 50 60 pip stop loss for 160 70 uh, decent risk reward there very good risk reward actually pound yen i'm looking at this one on the daily looking too long from 160 whole psychological number big area of previous support resistance to the pip that one's almost to the pip big area can look too long it from there potentially move down to the four hour to find a better entry that big area of previous support and resistance over there at 160. And if I zoom out, I think, uh, yes, you can see there as well. Big, big area of previous support consolidation to the pip broke away. Big, big area. Euro yen, similar idea. Looking to long at 135.400. Big area of previous support and resistance. You can see very, very similar setup to the other yens. But anyway, in this area, look to long it. Then my final idea for the week is the pound Swissy. This is on the weekly. It is quite a distance away. It's uh, 650 odd pips away, but 1.21. So big area of previous support and resistance. If you look at this massive candle to the pip, basically to the pip, almost yeah, to the pip, to the pip, big, big, big level. So anywhere in this area, looking too short. All right, guys, that's uh, my ideas for the week. Good, good luck for the for the trading week. I hope it's a good one. Uh, wait for price to tell you what it wants to do. It might be a little bit uh, 
choppy this week with the mixed news. But all the best, and uh, Mark will see you in the forum on Tuesday. Keep up. Cheers.